Hello, my name is Fred LaPola, and I'm a librarian at the NYU Health Sciences Library. Today we're going to be talking about a new feature for REDCap called the Multi-Language Management Feature. This is a tool that REDCap recently unveiled in 2022 to allow users of surveys and forms and questionnaires to switch between different languages, uh, both in terms of the language contained within a questionnaire, as well as in terms of the user controls. Something really important to note right off the bat is that the multi-language management feature does not actually translate your surveys and instruments. You will need to get uh, uh, reliable and verified translations of any materials you want to have translated. But what this feature does allow is for us to switch between different languages, both in terms of surveys and the survey languages being sent out, as well as the controls that the individual who's filling out the questionnaire may see. Uh, so in the next series of videos, we're going to be talking about the different features available for you in this multi-language management. I've got here a basic questionnaire already set up just to show you what we're talking about. I've already built a form, basic information, looking at name, uh, family name, first name, family name, favorite color, and date of birth. Then if I jump over to the multi-language management, we can start talking about how we would actually add in individual languages. So if I was to click on add new language, I can see here, first thing it's gonna ask me for is the language ID. And it provides me this link to a list of ISO codes. Uh, these are standardized two to three letter codes for different languages. So I'm gonna try out adding a few. And the first one I'm gonna use is going to be English to have that set as my default language. So here I see it's EN. I'm gonna jump back and for the language ID, I'll choose EN. Next is going to be the language display name. This is how the language will be displayed for the user filling it out. So I'll write in English. But if I was using a language with a different character set, for example, say uh, Chinese, I could write in the Chinese characters for, uh, for Chinese here. And then here, the sort override, basically how we want it uh, for the sort order. So I'll just say English again and add language. So some things to note. First off, I do want to set English to be an active language. I want it to be both the default language and the fallback language if other, either of the other options fail. Uh, I do not want it to be RTL stands for right to left. So certain languages such as Hebrew, Arabic, uh, uh, Yiddish, they'll go from right to left. But instead, in this case, we're going to leave this unchecked. And for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and hit save changes. I'll go ahead and add few more. So let's say I mentioned Chinese earlier. So I can go in and let's see. Chinese here will be ZH. So I'll put in ZH. And I'll change the language entry to have the Chinese characters. And here we see it's number one. And here again, I will put this back into English for the sorting and add. Again, I want to make this active. And I'll do one more today. I'll do, I'll add in Yiddish just to have a right to left. And that I believe is going to be YI. So I'll click back over here. We'll say YI. So again, we'll change this. We'll type it in. We'll change it back to English. We'll add, we'll make it active. And here I am going to select uh, the right to left. Something very important is every step in the multi-language management feature, we are going to have to save our changes. So I'm going to go up here and hit save changes. If I was to navigate away without clicking on this yellow save changes button, nothing would be saved. We could also hit control or command S depending on if we're on a PC or on a Mac. I am on a Mac, so perhaps my screen will look slightly different from you today, uh, but hopefully not too much to uh, navigate through. So, so far we've just added three languages, but we haven't actually done any of the translation work for our project. In the subsequent videos, we're going to talk about how to add the translations and make sure that they go into effect for when we inst institute a form or a survey. 